Yo, what's up everyone? You're on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I'm Boss. Today we're gonna to talk about what you need to mine. One whole Bitcoin here in 2020. This is the updated video with the most recent statistics that are all post Bitcoin block reward having. So basically this is the most up-to-date stuff and it's gonna be relevant for the next four years, you know, kind of relatively speaking there. If you don't know, Bitcoin mining was originally mined with CPUs, you know, those little uh, processing units in really every computer and electronic device. It was, it was originally mined with those. And then it was mined with graphics cards, GPUs, there was also some FPGA, which is kind of like a GPU or steroids mining that took place in the history of Bitcoin mining. And then application specific integrated circuit miners, ASIC miners, hit the scene and they are the most efficient mining uh, rig basically because they are specialized hardware. Those computers, literally all they do and can ever do is mine Bitcoin. So yeah, they're gonna be the best at it instead of a multi-use you know, piece of computer equipment. So today we're gonna to be talking about Bitcoin mining, what it takes to mine one Bitcoin. And I know a lot of people are gonna be asking, you know, can I mine Bitcoin at home effectively? Well, we're gonna talk about how you kinda of can and you kinda of can and what goes into that. We're gonna run all the numbers here for you. And uh, but before we do that, we're gonna talk about the most beautiful doge in the world, Tails, our Shiba Inu. And uh, she just recently met a little baby rabbit, a bunny, super cute. All right, guys, welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. This is the follow up updated video on what do you need to mine one Bitcoin here in 2020 because, as always, in cryptocurrency, things just rapidly change. So, long story short, so Bitcoin has half, the block reward has been cut in half. And to put it simply, without going on and on, from now on, instead of 1,800 Bitcoin being mined every day, there's only 900 Bitcoins being mined with a six and a quarter. Uh, bitcoins produced per block okay so simple as that mining revenue is cut in half that makes it twice as hard to mine a bitcoin and uh really more than twice as expensive as you guys probably know bitcoin is the biggest the baddest the best cryptocurrency especially when ranked by coin market cap you know just uh 162 that, that's not a million okay that's not 162 million but 162 billion dollars okay Right now trading at $8,864. So what we need to evaluate right here is that Bitcoin, again, just halved their block reward, okay? That was uh, yesterday. And we can see the hash rate is quickly falling, but not nearly falling enough to make it even in line with what it, even close to what it was in line mining Bitcoin uh, prior to the halving, okay? So, you know, really, you know, the hash rate has been bouncing around between, you know, say 100, echo hash a second to uh, 150 echo hash a second nearly right there and now after the halving which again mining profitability is cut in half the amount of bitcoin mined every single day is cut in half that the current network hash rate is at 110 echo hash a second that makes it very difficult to mine bitcoins if we review the best bitcoin mining hardware for mining bitcoin here uh, you know to put it simply if your miner was not released within the last year it is not going to be efficient enough to be even worth turning on to mine bitcoin and and this is all calculated as a red at a uh, industrial electric rate of uh, five cents per kilowatt hour most people pay about 10 cents per kilowatt hour or more uh from a residential you know at home hobby mining point of view but yeah you'll see literally everything uh, nearly is on, on this list it was created in 2019 or 2018 also asic miner is a total freaking scam so stay away from that let's take the uh we're gonna build this whole uh video around the bitmain ant miner s19 pro and that does 110 terahash a second of Bitcoin mining hash rate power. Think of it kind of like if it's a car, uh, terahash a second is kind of like horsepower, simply put. And uh, that's the power consumption. And the profitability at five cents uh, per kilowatt hour electric rate is almost five dollars a day. Again, if you're paying a residential electric rate of ten cents per kilowatt hour, it doesn't mean that you just get half that profitability. You're only going to be pulling about a dollar a day after you pay that seven dollars and 80 cents estimated electric bill and that's not even factoring anything else like uh you know cooling fans or whatever so right now 
the Bitmain Antminer S19 Pro is being sold from Bitmain directly at $2,633. You still need to pay any kind of customs or taxes associated with your country there in the US that can be up to 30%. Oh yeah, and look at this. This is August. This isn't even for a right now order. It's a futures order. So anyway, let's run the numbers on the Antminer S19, which has been reported to have an extremely unusually high failure rate in mining farms uh, reportedly we haven't got one into review yet so we can't say that personally but that's the uh the talk of the town there this is basically what you would need to almost mine one bitcoin a day and that's before your electric bill but this isn't one miner this is calculated with three ant miner s19 uh, miners and with this miner you'd be mining about 0.93 uh, Bitcoin and why is it like why don't I have it rounded up to one well you can't just have like half of a miner I mean you could buy other miners and, and you know there's there's tons of ways to get to this destination right we could bump this up to 440 terahash a second but then we'd be well over one Bitcoin so I'm gonna factor it all kind of around this if you wanted the hardware to mine one Bitcoin right now in 2020 post Bitcoin having so this is updated this is the latest news and possibilities right here you would have to buy three of these okay and if you're spending you know, about $8,000 here on mining rigs before any other relevant costs. I mean, well, that's what you got, that's what you got to spend. And you would need to provide power of about 10,000 watts. So that's, imagine like completely loading up three circuits in your house. But here's the kicker. Again, this is at an, an industrial electric rate. Most mining farms pay five cents or less, uh, you know, for their electric bill or electric cost there. So with these, this factor, you would actually, again, after paying your electric bill of over $4,000, you'd only be making about $3,888 worth of Bitcoin. So this is actually more like how to mine a half a Bitcoin after your expenses there. So if you wanted to mine an entire Bitcoin, you would need seven of these miners. Okay, you would need seven to mine like about 2.2 Bitcoin which would be almost $20,000 mined every year with these new miners if, you know, you know, at the current trajectory. So, yeah, we'll see how all that works out. And your electric cost will be almost exactly $10,000, leaving you with about $9,000 in mining profitability. And this is all calculated with the current Bitcoin price of $8,700. $2,633 times seven would be, you know, once you factor in, a, in a, you know, any kind of shelving and setting of electric, you're going to easily be sitting at about a $20,000 investment to earn $9,000 of profit over the next year if your electric cost was five cents per kilowatt hour and you would have a little bit more than an entire Bitcoin that you generated through cryptocurrency Bitcoin mining in your wallet. But using this hardware is not the only way to get to this destination. So let's talk about a couple other, you know, top options that, you know, either are really just possible here for you as an at-home hobby miner or a mining farm, as well as what we think a lot of people are going to ask, what about the Antminer S9, the previously most popular Bitcoin miner. One of the more popular miners here, you know, by value, bang for buck for Bitcoin mining here, is going to be the Bitmain Antminer S17 Pro. This has been honestly a pretty good miner um, since it came out. The only weak point is the power supply. And one of the, the most common failures with that is that these uh, fans in the power supply will fail and then the PSU will turn off and the miner will not mine. So just by simply swapping those out, you can get those rigs back online. Just uh, on a little quick tip that uh, we've learned in our experience, especially dealing with uh, some of the bigger mining farms that have hundreds and thousands of those units. So if you take this mining rig, okay, so we're using the 53 terahash second model with the power consumption of 2,094 watts and the uh, mining farm electric rate and a blackboard again of six and a quarter Bitcoin per block. This thing will mine about, you know, 0.15 Bitcoin a year. It will cost you about $913 to run and you would be mining, you know, $1,300 worth of uh, USD in Bitcoin, but that only leaves you with a $400, you know, per pro or profit over the course of the year. It's something everybody's gonna wanna ask. Now, I've got an Ant Miner S9, or I can get one for free or something. Should I mine with it? Dude, dude, dude. I'm gonna put this real simple. Your electricity better be free if you're gonna turn on the Ant Miner S9, which is old gear. We reviewed it years ago, okay? So don't get me wrong, like, you know, cool. Cool miner in retrospect, like, you know, pretty tough miner. 
and all that stuff you know a bunch of firmware options and whatever but this thing i mean you're gonna mine 0, almost 0. 0.04 bitcoin over the course of the next year and that's if everything stayed the same i mean historically the hash rate just simply keeps going up and up and up and up and up so if that'll stay the same which it won't you would mine 0. 0.04 bitcoin which would be about 334 dollars but it, you would pay again at uh five cents per kilowatt hour electric rate five hundred and seventy six dollars a year to run this thing so let's go ahead and put in 10 cents you know average uh residential electric cost you would lose 820 dollars a year mining with this thing this is literally the equivalent of buying 330 dollars of bitcoin but you paid 1153 dollars for it if i was like hey i want to say 300 dollars of bitcoin but it's only going to cost you uh one thousand dollars would you say yeah to that no you wouldn't and that's why i really i mean i can't recommend anything on the channel apparently because of youtube but i wouldn't recommend well i can't say that i, I wouldn't you know don't turn these things on man you're gonna lose your money simple as that i mean this this is plain as day so anyway guys i mean ultimately here in 2020 especially after the bitcoin happened but it was even like this very largely to, um, before the having Bitcoin mining is now an industrial game massive million dollar mining farms that we show here on the channel sometimes so you should totally subscribe and check those out uh, you know it, it's it's an industrial game it's not for hobby at home miners you know it's not gonna you're not gonna just get uh, the coins distributed that way anymore if you want Bitcoin you pretty much just gotta buy it but sure you know I don't want to discourage anyone from mining ever if you want to get it for the hobby point of view if you think it's fun if you think it's interesting if you've got so Solar panels that you want to use with it you've got free electricity or just crazy cheap or you just don't care or you're gonna buy the really efficient gear so maybe it'll work out that way you know if you know depending on your electric rate and, and how the network hash rate goes and all and the future Bitcoin price and if you hold coins I mean ah, that's clearly there's a lot of freaking factors going on here I don't want to discourage you from anything okay uh, in that regard especially with you know participating in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and mining however I, I got to say that, you know, Bitcoin mining is an industrial game here in 2020, period. Just these are the numbers. These are the stats. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Love to hear about them from you. Also, if you're curious about, uh, you know, mining, what's it's going to take to mine like one other coin, let us know. We'll make a video about that. As always, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up on the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.